السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرحلی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل العقدتم السانی یفقہ قولی رب ضدنی علما ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ ویل ٹاک اباؤٹ ڈپریشن اینڈ اٹس کیور ایوری بڈی فیلس بلو اور سیڈ ناؤ اینڈ دین اٹس نارمل اینڈ پارٹ آف لائف اینڈ موسٹ آف دا ٹائم اٹ لاسٹ جسٹ اے فیو ڈیز اینڈ گوز اوے آن اٹس اون بٹ ڈپریشن از ڈفرینٹ ڈپریشن از اے کامن اینڈ سیریس میڈیکل النس دیٹ نگیٹولی افیکٹس ہاؤ اے پرسن فیلس تھنگس اینڈ ایکٹس ڈپریشن کازز فیلنگس آف سیڈنس اینڈ اور اے لاس آف انٹرسٹ ان ایکٹیویٹیز ونس ان انجوائڈ اٹ کین لیڈ ٹو اے ورائٹی آف ایموشنل اینڈ فزیکل پرابلمس اینڈ کین ڈکریز اے پرسنز ایبلٹی ٹو فنکشن ایٹ ورک اینڈ ایٹ ہوم ایکچولی دس از اے ویری سیریس ایشو because according to psychological studies a considerable percentage of people alive today are subject to some kind of depression even small children so it is important to explore this issue in relation to being better muslims depression is also known as a silent killer since it does not affect the physical health of the person initially but over time may lead to serious repercussions Women are generally more prone to being depressed since their countenance is delicate and by nature they are more sensitive than men. On the other hand, men have to act all macho and strong. So even if they are under the weather and feel depressed, they try to mask or hide their emotions due to which they are more prone to committing suicide. Scary, isn't it? So your gender, social status or affluence plays no role in avoiding depression. Statistics show that people above the age of 60 are more susceptible to depression. Along with that, oversensitive people, people who overthink and get inundated by small small issues, keep things in their heart and have a negative approach to life, deen is not their priority basically. They are far away from the religion and do not have a strong bond with Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala or accept the degree of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala fall prey to depression. Depression also affects people who suffer from chronic physical diseases, are lonely, live in a stressful environment, could be jobless, have a financial crisis or do drugs or substance abuse. So, these are a few reasons a person might fall into depression. Now, let's look at the symptoms of depression. I mean, how can we find out that a person is depressed? The most common one is that the person habitually feels sad, empty or anxious. These feelings will continue over time without getting better or going away. Eventually, such a person would be unable to function properly in their daily life. This is a classic example of a depressed person. Such an individual loses interest in life and prefers solitude. He or she might have a shift in their perspective towards life. From productive and prolific, they will go to the other spectrum of feeling helpless, worthless or pessimistic. They may feel bad about themselves, their life or think a lot about losses or failures. They begin to complain about physical ailments, weakness and become irritable. They may get restless or more cranky than usual. They lose self-confidence and are bad at decision making since they do not believe in themselves or that something good can happen to them as well. Such a person constantly stays in their past and recollects and recalls all the negative incidents and blames others for their failures or misfortunes. Another scenario that they can blame themselves for every negative action and fall into guilt and remorse. They remain gloomy and miserable and have no will to carry on or have any hopes for the future. They may become insomniacs, suffer from a loss in appetite or eat more than desired, get short-tempered, complain about unilateral body aches or headaches, they may develop skin problems, dental or gastrointestinal issues. Such people get so absorbed in self-pity that their relationships suffer. They are unable to fulfill their responsibilities or their obligations. Their family and social life gets neglected. Slowly, gradually, they slip from life and keep on spiraling down the vicious tunnel of depression till they only have one option left and that is suicide. Now, let's look at the treatment or the cure of depression. Basically, it depends on what stage of depression a person is. Severe cases may need professional intervention in the form of therapies or antidepressants. At times, there is no need for medication and only therapy suffices. The patient comes back to life with proper psychiatric treatment. 
a depressed person normally starts feeling better if they can share their feelings their fears their uncertainties their inner deep dark thoughts with someone they trust without any inhibitions for this very reason many people are comfortable talking about their circumstances or feelings to a trained psychiatrist they book weekly sessions which last for about an hour and just pour their heart out they went and gain catharsis in the process experts believe that depression is due to an imbalance in the brain of the two neurotransmitters serotonin and norepinephrine with the help of antidepressants this imbalance is restored but even after the patient feels better these medicines cannot be immediately stopped it's a long term treatment and should only be tapered off with the doctor's consent mind you medication should only be taken with the doctor's approval please please do not self medicate Many a times mild depression is cured on its own as well when the unfavorable circumstances go away the anxiety also stops secondly statistics show that 80% of the patients get better on their own without any treatment but this is risky and may take a long time i mean they may get better but the time taken to reach the state of well-being varies 20% who do not get treatment may fall into a deeper depression and go towards suicide. So now let's talk about how to get better. First of all, the entire lifestyle needs to be reassessed and at times changed. The biggest change we all need to make in our life, not just the people who have depression, but everyone is that we should regulate our sleep cycle. exercise find a hobby busy yourself with some task an idle mind is a devil's workshop keep good company eat healthy and keep yourself hydrated this was the physical bit as for the spiritual well-being strengthen your bond with allah subhanahu wa taala pray on time establish the five daily prayers remember and glorify allah subhanahu wa taala often we find out in the glorious quran in surah al-rad ayat number 28 that الا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب the translation of which is unquestionably by the remembrance of allah hearts are assured therefore we can see that to protect yourself and to get rid of the diseases of the heart establish your connection with the quran reflect and ponder on the meaning of the ayahs why should we do this and how will it help us we will develop reliance upon allah subhanahu wa taala develop tawakkul accept the degree of allah subhanahu wa taala with fortitude we will realize allah's promise that no human being is burdened with troubles and difficulties which they cannot bear this shows that the human being can bear many unthinkable burdens that one initially feels that they cannot just bear how many times in your life you felt you cannot take it anymore but you lived through it and another beautiful promise that after every hardship is ease life is a test one task after another one issue after another however it is important to know that while life tests us there is ease after hardship there is the ease of death after the hardship of life there is ease of sleep after the hardships of the day there is ease of retirement after the hardship of a career and everything has a high and a low what goes up must come down likewise tough times only mean that times of ease are near and the last thing i will speak about is that every believer knows that suffering purifies them it's not the events which take place that cause happiness or depression but it's our inner reflection of a situation that determines our spirituality and our emotional maturity so let's pray to allah subhanahu wa taala to protect us and keep us safe from all kinds of physical mental and spiritual ailments ameen assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh